developing right now out of Brownsville, Brooklyn. Police say shots rang out this evening and neighbors tell us this was in the middle of when kids were out trick or treating. Police have been on the scene there for several hours investigating and we want to get to News 12's Mary Lynn Buckley. She's been speaking with witnesses. Mary Lynn, how are parents reacting to this in that area? Amanda, this is hard news for any parents to hear. We know several of them were out here right on the street with their children, trick or treating, dressed up in costumes, just trying to enjoy Halloween when multiple shots rang out. Witnesses we spoke to say they heard about four to five shots. And of course, everyone went running down Mother Gaston Boulevard in absolute panic. And still right now, hours after the shooting, police are here investigating. They have been walking up and down Mother Gaston Boulevard for hours on end. They've closed off a good portion portion of this street and just to clarify the shots were not fired at police. However, police did happen to be here on scene when this shooting did take place. Now officers have closed off several blocks. However, like we said, many families were out here during the time that these shots rang out. Thankfully, there are no reported injuries at this time, but where this happened, we can see it's a busy residential area with apartment complexes. There are also some businesses nearby. One witness that we spoke to, he was working at the time. He says he locked himself in his liquor store and another parent says she was able to avoid the shooting by choosing to go trick or treating a little earlier than she originally planned. Everybody wants to just enjoy themselves. They want their child, their kids to enjoy this holiday, Halloween trick or treating and just insane that we can't even do that. You know, people just ignorant and it's very dangerous around. Uh, I just heard about like maybe four or five gunshots. So on the camera people running and that was mostly it. But I locked the doors real quick in here, so. And police are still here on scene as this investigation is ongoing. So far, there are no injuries reported, and police say at this time they don't have any suspects. But parents in this area say many children were out here during the time that shots rang out and that startled many, many people. They really say that this put a damper on their Halloween. But like we said, this investigation is ongoing. Any new information will bring it to you right here on News 12. Reporting from Brownsville, I'm Mary Lynn Buckley. All right, Mary Lynn, thank you for that.